T E C H N E W S. Episode 14. The 32 gig Moto X Pure Edition phones designed by Jonathan Adler are on sale right now for $350 versus their original $475 price tag. That's $125 in savings. They come in three designs, Honeycomb, Half Circle, and Bridget. The Honeycomb design is my favorite. The Half Circle one, I... no. Anyway, the $350 price tag is pretty good for a 5.7 inch 1440p display, an 800 series Snapdragon processor, an 808 to be exact, and 32 gigs of internal storage. Now that the DJI Phantom 4 is out, for $1,400 by the way, the DJI Phantom 3 has been discounted all the way down to $400, which is a steal and because of that, that particular deal is sold out. But you can still grab one on Amazon for $450, which is still a great price. I haven't really gotten into the whole drone thing yet, but since the warmer weather is coming, you never know. A picture was posted about the HTC 10 showing off its benchmarking muscles on Antutu. With a score of 156,000, it beats some of the top flagships on this list, namely the S7 Edge and the iPhone 6S. With that said, I don't know if this picture is 100% credible, legit, and regardless of those results, benchmarking numbers don't always mean that the top performer is always the top phone, especially when it comes to user experience. Just the facts. While we're on the subject of Antutu, a supposed benchmark of the OnePlus 3 got revealed. Labeled as the OnePlus A3000, it's showing that it's on Android 6.0.1. With again, top end specs of most flagships. A Snapdragon 820 with 4 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage. It does show a 1080p display, which is less than what current flagships are using with a 1440p display. It also shows an 8 megapixel front camera and a 16 megapixel rear camera. The OnePlus 3 is expected to release at the end of the second quarter of 2016. This is one phone I've always wanted to get my hands on, but I've always disliked the way they implement their invitation system. Maybe this time it'll be a little different. See you tomorrow.